this is Hannah with Hannah Crafted Gifts and I'm here today with you blinded by the light. <laughs> um, it's midday in the home I just moved into not too long ago and so we haven't uh, done window treatments yet but I did want to come on and share with you um, my alternates for the Peaceful Christmas Paper Pumpkin Kit which was almost a tongue twister for me there. Um, so I've already done an unboxing you can check that out I think that was my most recent video I unboxed the kit to show you everything in it now I'm going to show you some alternates. So First of all, I guess I'll show you um, a card very similar to the one as instructed. I did leave off some elements because as beautiful as I think this kit was, um, again, as instructed, I like it even simpler sometimes. So I did leave off a couple elements like the wood grain piece and the red piece um, and just did the Noel on top of the vellum trees. I did add the little uh, glitter enamel dots. But the biggest change I made here you'll see is I cut the piece of plaid paper from corner to corner. Again, sorry for the strange light. <laughs> um, but I cut that corner to corner so that that way I could still have half of it on the outside, but I could put the other half on the inside of my card. And the key here is I only glued along the two edges and left this open. So there's just a teeny bit of glue along here and here so that that way this can be a pocket. Um, I think pocket cards are fantastic, especially for Christmas for a gift card or um, something like that. And my friend Renee uh, Ewert has been doing a lot of pocket cards and so I just kind of had that in mind and I thought it worked really well with this kit. Um, I did take a circle from the other card design and use the back of it to put my Merry Christmas and that's up on dimensionals just to give a little pop. But you wouldn't have to do that, of course. Um, so that was just a slight alternate from the one as instructed. The alternate that I taught at my class today, which actually just ended, um, was a card I can't remember the name of the fold for. It's kind of like a bridge fold. Uh, I want to say it's like an A-frame card, but I can't remember and I couldn't find it. So I hope someone out there knows what this is and will say so in comments. Um, but what you do is you cut out this center piece from the card base. So this piece was here, just vertical. And so you cut that out and then you flip it. So the dimensions for this, if you're interested, are you cut in one and a quarter inches from both sides of the card base and you only cut to the fold, okay? So you cut one and a quarter in and up to the fold, and then same on the other side, one and a quarter in and up to the fold, and then across the fold, so that you get this front piece, which is three by four and a quarter, you know, so your typical four and a quarter, um, but then by three. And again, you flip that, and it bridges those two side flaps. Um, so what I've done then is I've also taken the plaid piece, hopefully you can see that, and I've cut that in landscape, I cut the plaid piece in half. So it's two and a half by, uh, well it was five. So cutting in half was two and a half. Um, two and a half by I think three and three quarters is the size of this piece. And that way I get that nice quarter inch border around the outside edge. Um, then I take the other half from what I've just cut. So again, this is half of it. The other half, I cut out three quarter inch strips so three quarters by, again, I think three and three quarters. So that way I get that same quarter inch border on my two side flaps. And then I do have this center piece up on dimensionals as well as my sentiment from our home to yours, which I love that sentiment. And on the inside I have Merry Christmas. Some of my um, friends in my class did some great things on the inside here. You do end up with a little strip of this plaid left, like a one by three and three quarters strip, I think. And so one of them took half of that here and here to kind of frame their sentiment. Um, another one used the snowflake stamps up at the top and you could do so at the bottom. They went all the way across on the inside and then you could see that from the front. I thought that was a really great idea. Um, another fold like that, this time using the negative from the trees on the vellum. And I thought that this kit, while perfect for Christmas, also doesn't have to be Christmas if you don't put the red and the green together especially. Um, this actually makes great traditionally masculine cards, which I know are a challenge sometimes to find and to make. And so I thought this worked really well with just the green and the plaid and the trees for a nice natural, again, gender neutral birthday card. So this is um, a birthday sentiment from Artistically Inked, the stamp set from the annual catalog. And that's all I added as well as I did add a piece of um, basic white um, cardstock, I guess, on the inside. Because when I originally was making this card, I think I only had three quarter inch strips here because I wanted to use the plaid piece. Um, and so that's what worked uh, to make the same, you know, uh, frame on all sides. But then there wasn't very much of the white showing at the top and bottom. And so I actually kind of made it a secret bridge fold or A-frame or whatever it's called called card <laughs> um, because I glued that green piece from the base to the inside and then put white on top so I'll be able to write my message. 
Um, but that kind of worked out because otherwise I didn't like just a little bit of white at the top and bottom. But this way it's kind of a secret um, kind of surprise, which is fun. So just another idea to not necessarily make them all Christmas cards. Now for the other card base, which was actually more my favorite, even though I was more inspired by alternates with the green card base, the Shaded Spruce, um, the other card base with the trees and the snowflakes was my favorite because I love black and white and gray and I love the silver accent. So I did use the Noel from the green card design as intended um, and those vellum trees and I made the Z-Fold card. Um, again, my friend Renee Ewart has made a couple great Z-Fold cards with this kit um, and I think some others have done Z-Folds now as well. But mine's a little different. I just have um, that wood grain piece that's keeping my vellum trees sturdy and my Noel. And so it's just a great, very simple uh, display card. And I think it looks just as good, if not better, closed actually than it does open. Um, so it's just folding that card base backwards essentially to fold it like this and then folding back that front flap in half to make that Z. So there's that one. And then I think those card bases are so beautiful that most of them I just want to cut in half um, so I can double the cards that I have. And of course, if you want more, the Peaceful Place Designer Series paper has the same design as well as lots of others in the same color scheme and theme. Um, and I have that coming. Uh, it was supposed to be here by now, but it was on back order. It's not anymore if you want to order it. Um, so that goes, that whole suite, the Peaceful Place suite goes really well with this kit that was intended. Um, Stampin' Up uh, coordinated that on purpose. Um, but this one, because I cut the card base in half, I just mounted it on black cardstock. So I did trim off a quarter inch from the bottom and the one side, so that way they have this eighth of an inch border all the way around to show the black. You wouldn't have to do that. And of course you could use any of our gray card stocks or the white. Um, I did use a little red label behind the Noel and some of those embellishments again. One's on my tree if you can see that there. Um, and then this is an old card base, um, the silver foil card bases. They came with these beautiful silver foil envelopes from a couple years back. But again, you could just use white, gray, black, or if you did like the silver foil, we do have the silver foil sheets. And so you could um, put a border around one of those other color card bases for that. And for this one, I again use the negative of the Noel, so you can kind of double your supplies by using those. I will say only one of them cuts out like this. The rest, I think you'd have to cut a little tighter in, maybe fussy cut around the letters, but that could be pretty too. And I put those red, I used a lot, <laughs> borrowed a lot of those red labels, three of them, to put behind this. And then because you don't have the, um, the negative for like the inside of the E and the insides of the O, I used the embellishments for that. And I thought it worked quite well. So um, those are a couple additional ideas. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, I love seeing what everyone's doing with this kit and it's just exciting to be getting into the spirit of the holidays. So um, feel free to like this video if you liked it, comment and I'll reply. And the most helpful thing you can do is subscribe for more videos on my channel. But thank you so much for watching and happy crafting. Merry Christmas too.